Yeah. This and Gabe, I, again, this is because we're on a, such a, an extreme close-up of this cab, but the terrain of the grapevine, as many of us know, it closes down if there's any slight dusting of snow because it is a pretty treacherous uh -oh. drive of the up and down. And Oh, this is, this is scary. A, there we go. This, this is, is not good, Gabe. This is very Flames concerning. Flames and yeah. black smoke now coming from the wheel well. And as you were saying, Colleen, as we continue to watch the flames here, uh, mm. yeah, we're definitely on the downward side oh. of uh, of these mountains coming uh, southbound from the grapevine. It's a downhill slope. It's a pretty steep slope. It is. Uh, yeah. You'll 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 see a lot of uh, of uh, turnout points mm -hmm. for big rigs to use if oh, they boy. have brake problems. And you can imagine. I don't think uh, this driver's brakes. Oh, there he is trying to signal something to us. Trying to look at his note. Yeah, yeah, trying to point us oh, to the boy. note, but, Dude, but unfortunately. Look at your smoky cab. How about that? Yeah. Maybe he can't drive. <laughs> Stop. Let you know. Never wow. know. Maybe the brakes are locked up. Maybe he can't drive. I'm always trying to f figure out. Maybe there's something. There's there's something that's causing them great distress that they can't seem to pull over. But now and he now sees his hood. It seems like he's using his shirt to try and cover his mouth oh, from the well, smoke. And there it is. More flames. Passengers. I mean, it, it's in the cab now. Yeah, well, it looks like they stopped, which is good. Yep. So the brakes yep. seem we've, to be working. <laughs> we've we've come to a stop, but that tire that was wedged under the wheel well there is now completely He's engulfed in flames, Gabe, and that's Gabe. only going to help burn the rest of the cab. And well, there he is, is, the driver, good. hands up, stepping out of the vehicle, down onto the pavement. This is a very good sign, and this might have been the only way to bring this thing to a stop was those spike strips actually causing uh, this uh, cab to set fire there. You can see there CHP moving in, a K9 unit also moving into position. This uh, driver backing up, hands in the air. It looks like he's cooperating. That's a very good sign there, slowly backing up. He's not carrying that white piece of paper that he was so adamant uh, getting us to see earlier. So uh, there'll be questions after this as to what, what that said, what he was trying to tell us. And you can see now, this cab is going to go up in flames because it has uh, it has a lot oh. burning under there, and that's going to catch really quickly. Have that's you a suspect. Go ahead. Oh, have you seen a fire engine um, approaching? Uh, looking out the helicopter window, we don't see a fire engine as of yet. If the, if they try and oh, come from the end. north, they're going to have to deal with a lot of traffic. I'm being told by our assignment desk, oh CHP just made the call for fire crews, and I imagine that's going to be LA County fire coming from the LA area, because if they try and come from Kern County, they're going to have to deal with a lot of traffic. And you can see there, that canine unit really excited there, trying to uh, do his job, and the CHP officer now taking that suspect into custody. The handcuffs going on, uh, one officer doing a quick search of the waistband, and there we go. This is about the best way we can hope for this pursuit to come to an end.